All right, we want to get you back to the fire that's burning right near Wash near right now near Washougal, and it's creeping closer to Camas as well. Strong winds and dry weather are fueling the Nagia Creek fire, dropping containment from 20% to just 5% today. Joe Ranieri is live in Camas, where there's a shelter for people who've had to leave their homes. Joe. Hey, Brittany, yeah, we're live outside the Camas Church of the Nazarene here in southwest Washington, where this church behind me has turned into an evacuation center with Red Cross within the last 24 hours. Big reason why those winds really picked up over the last couple of days, why they have kind of died down a little bit in the last 12 to 18 hours. Screws still have a long way to go to get this fire that's burning for more than a week under control. Monday morning brought more hope for crews battling the Nakia Creek wildfire near Washougal. The fire's up on a ridge top, and the winds just came in and uh, just took it. Very strong winds over this past weekend sent the fire racing from 150 acres to more than 1,500 by Monday morning. There's just a lot of smoke in a lot of those areas. Um, right now, we do have uh, deputies dedicated to those areas to set the, the road closure areas. As roads were being closed, many residents were being asked to evacuate because the fire was growing so quickly. We had our Clark County uh, partners with uh, the Sheriff's Office Search and Rescue knocked on about 600 doors. But not everyone chose to leave. But there were people that elected to stay, and so if they wanted to stay, they just kind of logged some of those addresses in some of those areas and told them we may not be able to provide emergency services if you guys choose to stay at some point. Um, and so people took that their own risk. The Camas Church of the Nazarene turned into an evacuation center for more than two dozen people. So we're offering meals. We offer emotional support and care. Um, I've, you know, after a disaster, it can be an unsettling thing to have to leave your home suddenly. Dwight Darrell, who's lived in this area for the last 16 years. One of the firemen drove by in his little truck and he was just warning everybody. He said, you know, you get out of here in you know five minutes if you can was one of those who decided it wasn't safe to stay at his house and spent the night at the church well this is all i had uh, i grabbed the three dogs there are three of them and uh, jumped in the truck and took off while some stayed in these cots others slept in their cars overnight we'll be here and we'll have this shelter open as long as needed Brittany, back here live. As we look out in the distance, you can kind of see some of that smoke and haze that's just been basically been sitting over parts of southwest Washington the last couple of days. Obviously, that's where the fire is burning. Uh, I did speak with crews earlier today who told me this is the latest they've ever been battling wildfires. Of course, the conditions are absolutely dry out there, really across their area. But the good news is, as Matt Safino has been talking about, we are going to be seeing some changes. And yeah, by late this week and into the week, and those changes are big changes. Reporting live in Camas tonight, Joe Ranieri, KGW News. Joe, thank you for that important update.